Lakes defense has been their weakness. They can score with anyone, but can they slow teams down? Well, points against, they're fifth in the league, averaging 89 against them. So it's going to be a test tonight. We know what Cotton can do. He's one of the top scorer in the league, and he's going to have a big one tonight. Take a look at the Perth Wildcats starting five, thanks to Champion Pete. Yeah, well, that's the starting five they're going to be rolling with, and expect to see one, maybe one and a half guys off the bench. They've really shortened the rotation. I don't know why they put nine on the bench as well, given what happened last time with just two players getting off the bench. Adelaide go with the same five that lost to Tasmania by 16 points on Thursday night, and they were disappointing. They were never going to win that game, and they went there with high expectations. So they need to turn it around and quickly, Adelaide, because I fear for their playoff hopes. They've lost three of their last four, and this great rivalry between Perth and Adelaide, the longest in the NBL in terms of games played, Game number 151 between these teams. And it's the Adelaide 36ers who win the tip. Perth with a 2-1 head-to-head lead this season. But whoever wins tonight is going to take home the Martin Catalini Cup, given Adelaide with a point spread. McCarran, the first look, can't convert. This is a massive game for both teams. The Adelaide 36ers, what happened to them in Tasmania? They want to bounce back. The roof is off. Red Army's in full voice. Is Thomas and seems to be getting better the longer the season goes. He makes the bucket, draws a foul on Soto, chance at a three-point play. I don't mind that. Going into the big fella early, Kai Soto has been really good in the starting lineup and the way he just cleans up the glass. And defensively, normally he does a lot better than that in terms of being able to alter the shot. That was just way too easy. If you're CJ Bruton, a team that has struggled to play defense consistently all season long you're not going to be happy with that first possession you are but in their last game and the win against New Zealand when they got up by three Thomas was emphatic in that win 23 points 10 rebound double double on the nine first blood to the Perth Wildcats Here we go, McCarran gets it back from Drimmick great atmosphere in Perth roof open a key matchup against the Adelaide 36ers and they need Franks to fire like he did against Tasmania and Cleveland stepped out of court so Adelaide turned it over we know Brady Manning on the defensive end that's something that Perth Wildcats try to really load up behind them and Robert Franks is going to really test that out early we expect that so if you're the 36ers you don't want to make it too obvious you want to try and get it side to side and see what you can do to try and free up Robert Franks Thomas goes straight back to Kai Soto takes him on unsuccessfully this time Trimmick grabs the board and off and running as McCarran with him in support, doesn't need any help as he opens Adelaide's account. In good Drimmick this season. So he's moving back to Adelaide from Brisbane. Bryce Scott guarded by Cleveland. Shot clock works to 10. There's nothing on offer. He's got problems. Close quarters had. Corey Webster, but he found Ty all alone for the easy two. Definition of finding something from nothing there. There wasn't much continuity, a bit of miscommunication offensively and defensively, and, and the Perth were able to find the bottom of the net. Well, if you're Antonio's Cleveland, Anthony Drimmick, you are so frustrated after that possession. You play phenomenal one-on-one -on -one defense with Cleveland. Drimmick did the right thing to help down the stretch in the last three seconds of the shot clock. The defense falls down, and there's Kai Soto going upstairs, outside the roof, putting a lid on it. <laughs> nice look from Franks as well. Ty Webster shows him some tricks. Now Thomas, Matt, catch and shoot, was good against Adelaide from deep earlier this season. Not on this occasion. Two and a half minutes play. Perth on top by one. And they find Drimmick in the corner. Can't connect. Right in front of the Adelaide bench. Adelaide none of two from deep. Ty Webster put it on the deck against McCarran, draws a foul, and Frank's just making sure that Ty Webster knows that the no layup rules in effect. Well, you can feel the heat in this one, can't you? As we see the possession, possession before the Hulls was talking about the pressure from Cleveland and Drimmick there, and Bryce Cotton just threading the needle and finding Webster as Franks may be a target tonight offensively. But if he's going to draw the attention, it's a great way to start finding the big man Soto downstairs. Yeah, well, what a little semi-gloves act off action. Both teams just having to be separated a little bit after that, after that hard foul from Franks. Maybe they had the hype reel on in the locker room pre-game as well. 
And I think the biggest thing about this game, we know the energy's there, the want, the desire, they know how important this win is. I think it's whoever can be more composed and stay in the moment is going to potentially come away with this win. This hard foul at the end from Franks. Ty Webster just wore it, didn't respond. And then, as we expect, his brother came straight in. Have his back, and a few words to say to Robert Franks. It's a close range, Thomas again. This time shut down by Soto. We've got a piece of the action. Drimmick feeds Franks. Soto, the lob passes on, oh, helps himself to another two as Adelaide take the lead for the first time. Really growing a lot since being in this starting role. Clive Soto, and we've heard him talk in the pregame before that Tasmania game about how he enjoys being in the starting lineup. Doesn't play a whole lot of minutes, but what he brings to the five that are on the floor. I think he's growing every single game. And I think the main thing to keep him out there, he's just got to continue to work on his motor. He's got to play a lot more, a lot longer minutes, a lot longer stretches, but his activity is something that CJ Bruton will be really impressed with. Good hustle from Perth to win that back. Three minutes played in the opening quarter. Ty Webster goes solo, good option. He's got four of their six, or seven, I should say. Perth back on top. This is Cleveland in traffic, needs help. Clark injected into the game early. Just back to Cleveland. Eight on the shot clock now. Clark working on Ty Webster. Got him in the air, works through to an opening, gets the two draws a foul. High quality finish from Ian Clark. He's definitely been a great pickup for the Adelaide 36ers. Hasn't played many games, but his output offensively has been pretty spectacular. Touch over 12 points a game, a couple assists to his name as well. He can shoot the ball from deep. We've seen that. They're obviously going to want to run him off the line. His ability to put it on the floor makes him a tough one to guard. Court side to Damian Martin. Yeah, you mentioned Kai Soto starting. I love the combination he and Franks have early in this game, but I never thought I'd see the day where Daniel Johnson wasn't starting for these Adelaide 36ers. And the same can be said at the Perth Wildcats with their rotations. Rich Norton only played a little over three minutes last game, and Toddy Blanchard didn't even hit the floor, but you get paid to win games as a coach, as we see a massive dunk by Tayshawn Thomas. Sean Thomas is playing with a lot of confidence, and... This is why you bring in Ty Webster. That's a really good little pocket pass and didn't get very vertical, but what he did do is get up quickly. Sean Thomas has a really positive finish. That's two fouls on Kai Soto right now. So he's going to take a seat and in comes the man Damian Martin was just talking about, Daniel Johnson. You're not only coming off the bench, Damo, but Daniel Johnson just playing opens his scoring again. Thank you for watching. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito ay mag-subscribe ka na sa ating channel. Paki-follow na rin ang ating Facebook page Utak Pilipinas. Again, this is D Sports TV. Paalam.